Testing, testing. One, two, three. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Is this the... Do I go W, W, uh, WDM or WM or MME? Uh, testing. Testing. One, two, three. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Okay, okay I can hear myself. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Uh, doesn't really matter. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Every day, it's some technical issues. Every day, it's some technical issues. But I don't know. Right now, as it looks, like, what's nice about Twitch, as our first impressions, what's nice about Twitch is the amount of options that you have in chat. The fact that also you guys can interact, play around, send emotes and stuff like that like live emotes and stuff like that that's really nice that's the nice part about chat you can even do stuff like betting apparently right um so the actual chat and moderation i will say are the best things about twitch now the shitty things about twitch the ads right it's one the ads then number two it's the um the delay the delay feels off it there's just something weird about it what one inconvenience two ads three the delay and then every other problem that i have is just obs related let me just quickly respond to this Okay, that is everything. And unfortunately, no music now. No music. So we have to get used to Elden Ring music, man. I hope y'all vibing with them. With the... I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know. Elden Ring music is not... Bro, I'm not gonna lie. Soulsborne music does slap in the moment. When you're fighting the right person. I can't even wield my own weapon! I... It might have been a bad idea to pop my runes now. How do you sprint again? You hold square. Because it wasn't letting me sprint or do anything, so I was wondering. If my controller gives me enough stress, I might actually just play Tekken. Unfortunately. <laughs> if it stresses me enough, I might actually just boot on Tekken. <sighs> Every single time I see Bandai Namco, something in me gets angry. I don't know what it is. But every single time I see Bandai Namco, something in me gets angry. Scummy. It's just, it's just a scummy company. Do I have to reboot the game? Yep, let's play Tekken. Let's play Tekken. We'll do the randomizer later. Let's play Tekken. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Um, Tekken 8. I'm you know, I'm doing the best I can. Where are you now? Did your dreams come true? Here we go. Um, there we go. Eddie with specialty. I blocked that guy, by the way. 
that guy that you fought, the Eddie who had specialties, I went to your replays, I saw that guy, and I blocked him. Because the fact that you fought him is enough for me to block him. I saw, and for the most part, I saw that he was tr mainly using the specialties for stuff like Rage Arts and Heat Smash. I didn't give a fuck. I, I still blocked him. It was, it, was, it was enough for me to block him. Um. Krabula. It's still weird. I don't understand. I don't understand how you could be so dumb that you would use Eddie with specialties. Why? Of all people, Eddie, Eddie with specialties. That felt so out of place. You know what? Might as well actually just play music. We can play with music, it's fine. Because at the end of the day, this might, might be the last live stream for today. So, you know. Might be the last live stream on YouTube, so. It's been a while since I've done these combo challenges. At least I know I can still do them. Right, like, I got it. Like, at least I know I got it. It's not like, oh, I forgot how to use this. These combo challenges are fairly simple. that move actually uh the what is it again see now i already forgot it this no this i never do it and i probably should do it more i don't know why i don't why I don't do it. I don't know, it feels so punishable. Maybe that's why I don't do it. Yeah, it just looks so punishable. That's a really good combo. Pretty close too. That one can whiff so badly. It's not really a like a wise move to do. Actually, let me look at the frames on this. Thirteen twenty-six on block. How much is it on block? Minus, really? Minus seven? 
I thought it would be way higher than that. I love doing this one though. Bro, sidestepping in this game, speaking of which. Uh, let me look at that one YouTuber, FDX. He made a video of like how to properly sidestep. I have to watch that video because, like, ugh. Not gonna lie, Shazam'd you right now. For which song? You know you could have just asked, and I, bro, <laughs> I hate gatekeepers. I would not gatekeep the song. I would have not gatekeep kept the song. I would have even sent you the link. What song would what? Okay. Alright. Alright. Nigga acting like I would have been like, oh, you want the song name? She I don't I don't think I remember it. Like <laughs> I would have told you. I literally I I think I spent like what five to ten minutes looking for this song. So like I wouldn't just make you go through the same journey. Oh, I fought this gym before. Oh, uh, this guy with the shitty ass Wi-Fi. No, thank you. Juan, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing good. <laughs> it's unfortunate you didn't have to see the the bad, the negative parts of me streaming on Twitch. Cause I'm not gonna lie, that shit was cooked. But anyways, yeah, the first song is if we're being real. It's like a slow down version. This one, the reason why I decided to look for this version specifically, was because of that one Maki my edit on um Discord has polls? Weird. Okay. Anyways, that one Maki my edit that I found on... Did I... F yeah, I found it on Instagram, but it's originally like a TikTok reel. Let me find it real quick. Uh, ba -ba 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 like, usually I find these shits based on reels. Like this one, that, that lock-in meme. This... <laughs> Demotion match lock in like Usually I'll see a meme and I'm like, okay. I like the track. Let me look for it. And then this one For the Jujutsu Kaisen Again, this is Jujutsu Kaisen spoilers, but I'm not gonna go too deeply into it Just like ending off where Gojo does the 200% hollow purple Like this is the one that made me look for the song and I found multiple versions of this song multiple pitches So I was looking for this exact pitch Cause the other ones were either too slow, too fast, too high pitched, too low pitched. I was looking for this one, it's like the Goldilocks. But yeah, this was... The one that made me look for that song, and then this is the Makima one that made me. Yeah. So that was the Makima one that made me look for that track, and I was like, oh. Cool. So yeah, at this point, <laughs> usually whenever I find songs, it's always based on TikToks. I'll I'll watch a TikTok. And I'm like, hmm. pretty interesting, pretty cool. Uh, have you seen the new Joker trailer? Doubt I'll be able to watch it on stream because I'd get copyright claimed. 
um, not even copyright claim. They'll give me like a, you know, those ones where they like pause the stream. But let me let me Google it. The fuck did I just open? I have to full screen it so I can type into the chat. Joke it! Oh yeah, I forgot, Lady Gaga is um, Harley Quinn in the movie. Lock in real quick. Who is she supposed to be? Ooh. Okay. Oh, that's a tornado. I don't know why she tried to. What? What? <laughs> I just had to. Okay, I thought she was going to keep going for lows. How long are Lily's legs? She got some. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a high. That's a. It's a mid. It's a mid. It's not a high. Damn. Good lord! Hey! I got cooked on that one. I don't mind rematching. Oh, they cancelled? Really? Okay. But they won! 3 0! Why would they cancel? Just go for the free elo. Yeah, I'm, I'm rusty, bro. I say I'm rusty. I haven't played in like, what, 12 hours? But I'm still rusty, bro. I'm still rusty. Interesting. I really got hit up by somebody who was asking me to send them money so that they could buy weed banks so that they can sell them to make more money. That is... I, I, I don't know. 
I, I don't know. I never thought I'd see the day. But anyways, let me continue reading. I'm still running around Dragon Dogma 2 currently at level 70. How many levels does the game have? I don't know. Right now, as I'm looking at this Joker trailer, I don't know how I feel about it for one specific purpose. 999. Good damn. One reason why I'm not too sure about this Joker trailer, because Harley Quinzel is a doctor. Dr. Harley Quinzel. But it seems like in this iteration of the Joker, she is a asylum patient herself. Which, I don't know, kind of goes against Harley's origin story of, oh, she was a... What was she? Was she a clinical psychiatrist? Or was she a psychologist? Hold on. Dr. Harley Quinzel. Let's see. She was formerly a doctor. She was a psychologist. Okay. She was a psychologist at Arkham Asylum. Met the Joker. Joker used his riz. His insane riz, I guess. And then she fell in love with him. In this one, it seems like she's already a patient in Arkham Asylum. Well, this doesn't look like Arkham Asylum. It just looks like a regular prison. Still, that's a new twist. I don't think I've seen that origin story before. But one of the reasons why I enjoyed Harley Quinzel being a uh, doctor was because... It allowed her to be smart, right? Because most of the people around Batman, most of the people in Batman's rogue gallery are intelligent, right? They're doctors, like Mr. Freeze. That man has a PhD, right? Harley Quinzel also has a PhD. Joker, not too sure about him. Uh, Penguin, not really, but he's rich. Bane, not really, but Brain is actually pretty smart. He's smarter than he alludes to. Uh, Killer Croc. I don't think Killer Croc has a PhD. Hold on. Batman Rogue Gallery. Okay, Scarecrow has a PhD. Two-Face. Two-Face was a, um... He wasn't a prosecuting attorney. What was he called? What was... Shit, I forgot the term for it. Um... <laughs> What is it called? Two-Face Occupation. Get ready for the next battle. He was a district attorney. That's what he was. Prosec I was close. Depends on which Joker you're talking about. True. Round one. Fight. Um, but yeah. Hi, I blocked high. That is not a mid. That's not a mid. Don't bullshit me. Okay. Victor Zaz. Not really. Uh, Two Face was a district attorney. Uh, Scarecrow has a PhD. Joker, depending on which version you were looking at, is certified. Um, and then Scarecrow. Wait, I already said Scarecrow. Scarecrow, Two Face, um, Harley Quinn, Joker, Mr. Freeze, Clayface. I don't know what Clayface was before he became what he became. Like, try to grab me, get grabbed. Yeah, get grabbed. Get, get punted. Come to Takashi. What about Deathstroke? Uh, Deathstroke is a mercenary, but I don't know what his occupation was before. Slade Wilson. Slade Wilson, um, 
He was an Australian secret intelligence. Round one. Fight. Hold on. I don't... Okay, good shit. I blocked high! I blocked high! Static... Yeah, it's a Static Shock outfit. Fight. Okay. Shay! Yep, that was a misinput. Okay, there we go. Uh, we'll look more into Slade Wilson afterwards. Huh, I blocked high! Okay, good shit. I don't know why I said X instead of Static Shock. <laughs> Damn, bro! Persistent in trying to juggle! That four frame... I blocked high! Come on, bro, this game's on some bullshit. Okay. You lose. Sure. Round one. Fight. Blocking high means nothing in this game. Blocking high means nothing in this game. Oh wow! His okay, cause he teleports. Round two. Fight. That went through my hyper armor. Okay. Round three. Fight. Fuck off. Oh my god, bro, that fucking really, like I I saw that grab coming. Uh. Okay. 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 Round four. I'm gonna start launching him now. Fight. That grab is so fucking broken. Mm. I forgot that his heat smash is a low. One of the only lows in the game. One of the only low heat smashes in the game. It's him, Kazia, Paul Phoenix. I don't know who else 
has a low heat smash. Excuse me. Anyways, uh, Slade Wilson, born 1968, also known as Deathstroke, and the Terminator, formerly a member of the elite division of the Australian Secret Intelligence Service. Uh, okay, yeah, so that's what he was before he became a mercenary. Yeah, it's... Oh, what about Deadshot, actually? Deadshot. Uh, Deadshot... Let's see. So it's gonna match me up with the same Victor. Watch. Watch. Um... I can't see what he used to be. Get ready for the next battle. The same Victor. Okay. Coração ardente, mas cabeça fria. Where's the music? Round one. Oh, here it is. Yo, chill with that grab. Oh my god. Once I got side switched, everything just went downhill. Like, shut your bitch ass up. Nigga, stop shooting. Fuck off. I'm at the roof. Look like I'm bad. Ugh, it wasn't letting me low grab! Like, bro, I'm not... I'm not retarded. Oh, you're getting saved by the wall! Yo, fuck off! Okay. Sometimes hyper armor moves don't mean shit in this game. Bro, it's so hard to condition bum ass niggas, bro. They just be throwing everything out so you can't condition them because they're just used to bullshit. to condition bum ass niggas
think Chris is out of bitch, she attractive. That's that shit that get you put up at the station. And the model still the okay. same. Okay. Like I want a championship game. You know these hoes hungry, they gon' fuck for a name. I'm playing on the game, she get fucked for a chain. Got your girl in this bitch, she trailing on the dick. Fight. Okay. I got stuff in this bitch. Wrong move throughout the wrong moves. I'm a different nigga, no, we not the same kind. You can't have that look, bitch, you ain't mad. Young dope, full of selling dope, is you like that? Kicking those, kicking in those, is you like that? Young dope, nigga, selling lows, is you like that? All 24, you won't go, is you like that? Niggas from the bottom really like that. Stepping in the list, is if you like that. Uh, I keep pressing triangle, thinking it's gonna be. These niggas talking out of their neck, don't put no coughing out of your mouth. I'm way too paranoid for a threat. Hey, hey, let's get it, bro. BOT, the money power respect. The last one is better. Say yes, a lot of goofies with a check. I mean, oh, I hold them sentiments symbolic. Oh, my temperament bipolar, too violent. Okay, let's get it up. It's time for him to prove that he's a problem. Niggas clicking up, but can not be legit? No 40 water, tell him. Yeah. yeah, get up with me, fuck sneak this in first person shoot. I hope they came with three switches. I crash out like fuck rap. This melly mel if I had you. Got two T's <laughs> snatching chains and burning tattoos. It's up, lost too many soldiers, not to play it safe. If he walk around with that stick, it ain't Andre 3K. Think I won't drop the location. I still got PTSD. Motherfuck the big three. Nigga, it's just big me, nigga. Boom. I'm really like that. And your best work is a light pack, nigga. Prince out lit like Jack, nigga. Boom. For all your dogs getting buried, that's okay with all these nines. He gon' see Pet Cemetery, nigga. Young dope, dealer selling dope, is you like that? Kicking dogs, kicking in dogs, is you like that? Young throw, nigga. This nigga! Okay. All 24, you won't go, is you like that? Niggas from the bottom really like that. Stepping in, but this is if you like that. I've never seen somebody get so saved by a rage art. And he's plus on that! He's plus on that. Yo, Brandon, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing good. I've never seen somebody be so saved by fucking Rage Art. No skill having scrub. Kicking those, kicking in those, as you like that. Fuck off. Okay. Oh, uh, when are we turning to. Hey, man, I don't know. Nigga, do you think I'm sped? Fuck off. Like. Nigga thought I was like special needs. Like, do you think I'm special needs? Ew, what's this version? Accidentally pressed the wrong button. Yep. Ew, this is a nasty ass version. Every single. What is a victor without explosion, bro? That went through my hyper armor, by the way. What is Victor without that move? Somehow he got that! Okay. You lose.
Get ready for the next battle. Uh, let's see. Cardi carried the song. Carnival? No. No. <laughs> Cardi did not get. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, hold on. Give me a sec. Solid. Solid. <laughs> I don't know why my immediate reaction was to doubt. But, you're not wrong. I'd agree. I'd agree. My apologies. I'd agree. Cardi did carry Carnival. He did. He did. Yeah. Because at first I was really thinking. And I was like, you know what? Fair. It actually goes through it. Right. <laughs> right. Carried was a stretch. Everyone was good on the song. I don't know. For me, Kanye's verse on Carnival was like. It's not skippable. But I wouldn't be sad if it wasn't there, you know? Is this green screen? It is. So yeah, I I would say yeah, Car Cardi did carry a lot of weight in that song. 12% disconnection rate? We have a plugger. Remove everyone else and just keep Wardy? Mm. I'm fighting a lead. What is that hat? He just goes through all my hyper armor. Woo. I swear. I swear, bro. Nobody is more. <laughs> Oh, it's that guy from Fairly Odd Parents. Okay, thank you. Watch, 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 watch. Uh huh. And then if I press him a bit too much. Rage! Literally, literally, they all share the same fucking brain! These niggas have no original thought! Okay. Oh, what? Bro. Bitch! Get out of here! They all share the same brain cell! Fuck out of here! Remember, bro, 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 did I show you that one video where it's like two Lees and they were just acting the exact same way? Hamo, 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 hamo. Like every single fucking Lee shares the same brain cell.
Yeah, found it. Peep this. That's literally all they do. They think the same. They share the same brain cell. Not even Eddie's, as brain dead as Eddie is, not even Eddie mains play this stupid with each other. They don't play this mindless with each other. Like, imagine if the, if all Eddie's were just like, gotta do, gotta be, like, all we did is this. Like, imagine, this is all we did. Whole match, whole match, whole match. Like, every single one of them! They just think the same! Ooh, 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 slide tackle! Ooh, 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 slide tackle! It's like fighting Alyssa. A lot of Alyssas fight the same way. They think the same. Where something will happen... Ooh, 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 slide tackle! Ooh, ooh, slide tackle! Like, oh my god, bro. Y'all need brains. Y'all need to actually function. Use that thing that's in your head. Like, oh my goodness. This, you see what I'm talking about when I say this game pisses me off? When I'm like, oh, this game pisses me off. This is why. This is why. It's for dumbass bullshit like this. Like, sometimes I love, I love to shit on Low Tier God whenever he says some dumb shit. But sometimes he speaks. And I understand exactly where he's coming from. I completely understand where he's coming from when he says some bullshit like, oh, somebody's cornered against the wall. Immediate, like immediately throws out the um, rage art. Sometimes, I know for a lot of the time when I throw out rage art, it's not intentional. I don't try to throw out rage art often, right? Because... Hey, when I was fighting that Victor, I threw that one out intentionally because I knew he was going to sprint in for a grab and his health was low, so I was like, shit. I know that grab fucks me up a lot, so I'm like, shit, just throw the rage art out. It is what it is. But a lot of the time, it comes out by mistake. A lot of these people in this game will throw that shit out as a Hail Mary. Like, they don't even throw out their heat. They will throw out their rage art before they throw out heat smash. Like, it's insane. Anyways... Anyways. It's so funny to bait them out. It is. It's funny to bait out a rage art. But then there's those one, those moments where this game is so ass that you will block and you will still get hit. So I'll bait out the rage art. I block it and I got hit. Remember that one live stream where somebody threw out a rage art at me and as the animation was in effect when they were doing the whole flashy thing, I started laughing and I'm like, oh, how cute. And I got hit. How is beyond me. I literally saw it, said, how cute. Cause I knew he threw it, he was going to throw it out and I blocked it and I got hit. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes this game will throw bullshit your way. It's so annoying. I've never done that with, uh, done that before with Eddie. I just kind of dance around like a troll. Look, with Eddie, I only do this if I beat them. Like, I'll just do this if I win. Maybe that? But I, no, I never back him. It's a start, it's a strat. Troll better. The players and other players as good as call me sleep you. Yeah, I don't know, bro. Characters that just do that. Right, look, Eddie has one of his own. The range is much shorter. It's shorter than Lee, Law, and Alyssa. This one. Right? He has one of his own. But 
when you see Alyssa and when you see Alyssa, Law, and Lee, they, when they all do that move, you just expect it. You just expect bullshit. It's like, oh, oh. Sly tackle. It's like with Jin. When Jin doesn't know what to do. Huh? Huh? Scrape. And he just hell scrapes to the floor. My god, that shit's so fucking annoying. The only thing that tripped me up is when I fought Asuka and I didn't know she could hold her ult. Yeah, I had to find out the hard way. Ugh, Dragonov. Dragonovs need to be put in a noose. And he's not even sidestep right! He's not even sidestep left! What do you mean? Oh, this one is sidestepping like a motherfucker! What is the point? Bro, 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 bro. Bro, 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 what's the point of sidestepping? Honestly, y'all saw that. What's the point of- He avoided that?! What's the point? What's the point of sidestepping?! I like Dragonov, he's fun? No, he's AIDS. Okay. I'ma juggle him, I'ma juggle him. Didn't even mean to throw that one out, but I'll take it. Stop it. I hate that dragon off kick that stuns you. Yeah, that, that axe kick. That, oh, I hate it. Everybody hates it. Trust me. It's not just you. Literally, Dragon off. That's your strongest move. You can't even tech it. You can't because it has tracking. Bro, Dragon off. I'm gonna hit you with that same move, bitch. the most about that move that Dragonov has is the fact that it stuns. Okay. You lose. That's what I hate the most about that Dragonov move. It's the fact that it stuns. And this is a promotion chance for him. Round one. Fight. Okay. And it does chip damage too. Do you know how cool that is? Do you know how cool that is for Dragonov to have a move that not only does that but it also does stun? Okay. And just put down the controller. Let me look for the song. Cause you just try Yep, backing the fuck away. <laughs> 
bitch. He knocked me out of my heat? That's crazy. He knocked me out of my heat. Bonito. Fuck up. Heat. Oh, he's gonna cr uh. So fun playing Dragonov. Yeah, so fun playing the best character in the game. I'd be having a hoot and a holler f out of it too. Oh, that's how he. No, even if he's fuzzy ducking. Bro, that shit has chip damage, hyper armor. What the fuck are you supposed to do? Bullshit ass move. Then his Wi-Fi starts tripping. Ah, oh, you're getting saved by the wall. There's nothing you can do! When did he become the best? He's always been the best! Oh wow! You saw that, right? Wow! This nigga's gonna have a promotion chance off some bullshit! Okay. Oh, he's even more dangerous now because he has rage art. I've never met a more brain <sighs> King King exists King exists King exists I blame the music Nah it's not the music She's the shitty ass character Bro that axe kick that he does It does chip damage It puts you into It staggers you It forces you into a crouch It's like why? Why? Like, 
out of all moves. Look, oh, actually it reminds me of this one Reddit post. Hold on, let me find it. Let me see if I can find it. Oh yeah, over here. Found it, found it, found it. This one, right here. How do you nerf Dragonoff? Right? Let me read it for you. I get it. Dragonoff is overpowered. Like about, tw uh, like about 12 other characters in the game, to be honest. But you guys do seem to project uh, the most heat on Reddit towards this guy. More than Azucena, which is crazy. Azucena also deserves a lot of hate. She's right now top two. Top two characters. Why don't you play King? Because fucking hate King. Brain dead ass character. Deserves to die. Overpowered as fuck. Way too high of damage. Anyways, um, let's see. So anyways, I'm on board. Uh, I'd like to feel more honest playing my main that I've played since Tekken 7. Cool. So, you're the developers. How do you do this? All the other OP characters, I can target where their nerfs might be needed. King, remove 20% damage from his heat smash, make his forward forward N2. N2? Maybe that might have been a mistype. Is forward forward N2 launch punishable on block? Also, my uh, two less frames advantage on hit. Okay, cool. Azucena, fire whoever tried to nerf that running 3-2 in a specific way. The running knee. Uh, Jin, more overall frame punishes on block, uh, like one or two frames, which, understandable. Also, make her heal less. Why can she heal so much of her HP? Allow her to heal less of that shit. Um, let's see, Devil Jin, allow people the ability to actually sidestep or walk his heat smash from range 2 plus, which is... Range 2 plus, which is... Here. Yeah, regular and a little bit further than that. Cool. Um, who else? What is that Reddit thread? Fang. Fang is a problem. Too much stuff. So he needs a complete overhaul. We all agree. And then some characters need some tweaks here and there. Dragonoff. Look at all this. Nobody knows how you nerf Dragonoff. Yo yeah, Yoshimitsu is in the game. Oh, it's the fucking Victor! Uh, it's Mr. Shane! Shay, 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 Fight. <sighs> that was a mistake. Usually they go for the grab when they do all that splitting around. And then he has that move as well. Round three. Why oh, don't use King to rank up? I'd rather actually drink bleach. Like, thank you for the advice, but I would rather drink bleach. In Tekken 8, he's OP because he's always felt fairly balanced before. Who, Dragonoff? Well, yeah, in Tekken, in other games he was balanced, in Tekken 8 he isn't. Of course. Round four. Fight. Look at that round start. Yep, we're restarting the combo, bitch. King's the goat? Fuck no. Fuck no. I would rather drink bleach. Thank you though. Wow! <sighs> like, literally, is that the only move you know how to do? KO. 
Oh my god, bro! Is what it is. Anyways, so uh, music. Nope, not this one. Eu juro pelo meu mestre. Round one. Armor King have similar movesets. Nope, they do. Combo, combo, combo! Saved by the wall, bitch! I'm seeing a trend of the same characters over and over. What do you mean by that? That was a wrong input! <sighs> My move didn't come out! I blocked high! But the- f No, cause I'm fighting the same person a lot. That's why. You're seeing a lot of, um, the same characters. This nigga is just saved by the wall! I don't know how many times I've... Okay. I thought Peeps dropped Victor? Apparently not this fucking retard. Eddie King Lee Dragonoff. They're all in the game. Eddie recently added uh, beginning of the month. Uh, King, strongest he's ever been. Lee? Lee is a problem for me, but like, he's what? Top 15? Top 20? Top 15 to top 20. Actually, yeah, I'd say if he's top 15, he's like around 11, 12. Um, Dragonoff, top 1. Dragon off is the top one. That one girl. That is so specific. Thank you very much. I don't know which girl you're talking about. Uh, I thought Peeps dropped Victor. Same nigga. Literally the same Victor. I want to see a Kazuya fight. I'd rather fight Kazuya right now than this fucking brain dead retard. Look at the round start! Oh, expedition! These niggas talking out of their neck, don't put no coughing out of your mouth. I'm way too paranoid for a threat. Hey, hey, let's get it, bro. BOT, the money power respect. The last one is better. Say yes, a lot of goofies with a check. I mean, oh, I hope this is my move didn't come out. What does this nigga think I'm made of? Sneak this the first person shooter. I hope they came with three 
switches, I crash out like fuck rap. This Melly Mel if I had to, got two T's with me. I'm snatching chains and burning tattoos. It's up, lost too many soldiers, not to play it safe. If he walk around with that stick, it ain't Andre DK. Think I won't drop the location, I still got PTSD. Motherfuck the big three. Nigga, it's just big me, nigga. Boom. I'm really like that, and your best work is a light pack, nigga. Prince Hart, live my jack, nigga. Boom. For all your dogs getting buried, that's a K with all these nines. He gon' see Pet Cemetery, nigga. Nigga only uses one grab. Look at this. It's Michelle. It's Michelle. Didn't even mean to throw that move out. What is the point of sidestepping? Bro, sidestepping is genuinely like a broken function in this game. I sidestepped that and I got grabbed. That has tracking. That has tracking. That move had fucking tracking. Heat smash. They all apply the same combo. Fight. Watch. He's gonna try go for a grab. What he's gonna do? Uh -huh. He's gonna go for a grab. Ah. Nigga, what the fu- And he's plus frames because of it. I forgot. How silly of me. Look at the way this man tried to immediately hit me with the rage, with the heat smash. I swear, bro. Is what it is. Let's see, what's this? Interesting, caught my attention. What is up, butt check family? Welcome back to it again. A beautiful day of checking these buttons. We're back at it once again and back at it at them chapters down below. Because I can see if we, we right match up with somebody. Definitely aiming for 100 this year. Is it possible? Of course it's possible because we know it's about to get better. So either way, look, I'm just in a good mood, but we got some serious butts to check. So without further ado, let's go. All right, now into these first set of Tekken mod actually stands up. This man hates up. Mishimas? Bro. Hate is an understatement. Fighting cause. Okay, no, look. I'm slowly warming up to Kazuya. Weirdly enough, I'm slowly warming up to him. The problem where my hate is truly found when I'm fighting Kazuya is when the Kazuya knows how to wave dash. When the Kazuya knows how to wave dash, that's when I have a problem with Kazuyas because then they become an actual threat where they'll wave dash at you either do the um what is this thing called the hell sweep or they will wave dash and then do that overhead axe kick move either ways you're cooked right if they're in devil form then they sprint at you they wave dash they hit you with the hell sweep and then it's the the heaven's gate where they lift you up and they choke slam you down so kazi has that wave dash problem but i always i'm warming up to kazi Jin, I genuinely hate. Nothing is going to make me hate Jin less. There's nothing in this game that will make me hate Devil Jin and Jin less. 
I fucking hate those characters with the core of my being. But characters that I hate even more than Jin and Devil Jin, Huarong, Li, and King. So Huarong, Li, King. Top three hated most characters in the game. Then the Mishimas, then Alyssa, Dragonov, Fang. There's, there's like 15 characters. That's half the roster that I hate in this game. Hey, Hachi, I have no problem with. Uh, buttons that need to be checked. All right, so this is very interesting. We know there's a lot of interesting things, interesting things that have been happening with Tekken 8, unfortunately, right? Um, like I always say, I feel like a broken record. There's a lot of people that still enjoy the game, but because of things that have been happening with like the microtransactions or the recent updates that seem to break the game from what a lot of people said, right? Or the pros complaining that the game is different. Some saying it's even too hard and you know, there's a lot of stuff happening with the meta. Either way, so we did a story not too long ago where the um, the uh, Bandai, right, was reaching out particular mods and they were telling them they were gonna basically erase their whole YouTube channel, right? Because they were like, you can't, you're not allowed to use any mods in our game. So they gave them a certain amount of time to take down everything. They go deeper right here saying, okay, Okay, my channel will be deleted in April. Thank you, Bamco. They banned the un unpublished video at least three hours ago. Thanks to them, my channel will be deleted in April. Goodbye, YouTube, right? On top of that, an update. That same mod posted a tweet just the other day saying, they not only went after my YouTube channel, they went after my tweets. And he posted screenshots. He's like, I will no longer be posting anything about mods on this page or on Twitter, period, right? So yeah, they're not playing around. And okay. Get ready for the next battle. Ooh, Reina. I'm trying to read what her name means. I forgot what the kanji, the first kanji means. Fight. Heat smash route start? Good lord, okay. That man speaks fast, it's cause I'm playing the video at times 1.5 speed. Sorry. I just like watching videos at times 1.5. Round two. If she's gonna heat smash, okay. Alright, most Reinas don't attack low. I couldn't- you can't keep up with 1.5? Really? Hmm. Interesting. That's new to me. I hit her first, bro. Ugh. Cool. Kicked. KO. Tried to frame trap that. Or she tried to frame it. Fight. Okay, I thought she was great to heat smash round start again. Don't know what she was trying there. None of my business. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, she's about to get saved by the wall. Ha, ah, lovely. Just love when that happens. Wake up, ultimate! I, you can't make this shit up! You can't make this shit up! You can't make this shit up! This is the first time you've been promoted to Mighty... Huh? What? Huh? This is the first time you've been promoted to Mighty Ruler? How the fuck did I get demoted then? This Tekken 8, everybody. Tekken 8. Get ready for the next battle. Ah, and we're fighting a Huarang who was God of Destruction, by the way. Round one. Okay. Fight. That is a one-handed grab, I think. Oh, 
Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm not used to side swapped areas, and I'm dead. Unlike me. I tried to do the the same move. Round two. When they have the wall, Fight. they have everything. When I have the wall, I'm cooked. And look, it's leading them to the wall. Hold on. Okay, you're lucky. Literally saw that coming, got hit anyways. Okay. And he does this, so it's a one grab. Well, I don't know why it didn't come out round start, but eh. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. I forgot that Huarong can cancel his kicks mid animation. That is so cool that he could just cancel his kicks mid animation. It's so cool that he can cancel his kicks mid animation. Ha! Ah, lovely! Ain't that so swell? You lose. Who the fuck are you even supposed to be? <sighs> fuck it, why not? <sighs> Round one. Fight! Mm. Mmm. 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 Cause Huarong has attacks that if you um if you get hit low, you're forced to take the high. What's the point of sidestepping? Oh. Oh, he even had time to. I was blocking the fuck. You know, I need to start pairing that because I see it coming, so I just need to parry it. I wish I could be saved by the wall like you. I wish I could get saved by the wall. Fight. Oh, the wall. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> like, they all think the same. Hold on. Let me try something. Okay. Warring with rage hearts. Oh my, and he hyper armors through that. Final round. Got better things. Fight. I don't have time to waste. I just need my space. 
It's a couple things that I can feel, but I can feel my face. It's a couple things that I wish I could, but I can't replace. I think it's a sickness. Here's some selfish, yeah. I'm a little witness. You know what? I have a plan. Cause fuck this guy. <sighs> and he was plus on that, by the way. I saw the grab coming and I pressed triangle to try. Okay. Is that not a one grab? Maybe that's my problem. Maybe it's not a one grab. Maybe it's a two grab. Maybe it's a one plus two grab to get out of it. Let me let me switch to Huarang and find out. Cause I swear, if it if it's a one plus two, sure I'll take it. If it's a one grab, then this game just says fuck me all the time. Just it's on some bullshit. Anyways, let's see. Is it a one grab? Is it a one two grab? We're about to find out. That's his one two grab. So that means this whole time. No, it's not that one. Yeah. It's neither? Then what the fuck is it? Hold on. No whoring has ever done that before. Yeah. Yeah, you can tell that's a 1 plus 2 because he reaches out with 2. Never been grabbed by a Huarang doing that. Nope. 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 Is there a grab here that I don't see? Ah! It is a 1 plus 2. Okay, fine. I'll accept it. I'll accept it. It's a 1 plus 2. That's why I kept on getting hit by it. It's a 1 plus 2. I kept on pressing 1. So, I'll take that. I'll take the L on that one. Sure. Anyways, back to the video. Misleading? Yeah. And it gets deeper because they're not playing around with TekkenMods.com, right? Starts right here, profile on the screen. Okay, somebody right here by the name of Dennis Stanistan, right? Um, Tekken weatherman, programmer at TekkenMods.com. He's an admin. I want to say he just posted this the other day, like maybe even yesterday, right? He actually posted the screenshot of the email that they sent him, right? So I guess Bandai reached out to him, basically kind of like a cease and desist in a way. Um, right here saying, Dear Registrant, Bandai slash Namco is the owner of numerous registered trademarks, including Bandai Namco trademarks. Tekken, as you are no doubt aware, these trademarks are used to identify, advertise, and promote Bandai slash Namco's products and activities. It has come to our attention that you are using Tekken's copyrighted images, logos, or other visible or concealed text within your website located at TekkenMods.com without the obtained prior written authorization. By doing so, you intentionally seek to attract internet users to your website. This is unauthorized use of Bandai slash Namco's intellectual property falsely suggests Bandai Namco sponsor. Okay, we're fighting Arena. Oh, she's wearing the sweaty skin, bro. Every Reyna with- This is the fucking- This is the victor! What? You saw that, right? Y'all saw that, right? Y'all saw that, right? I sidestepped. I sidestepped.
kitchen box at it. Whipping it slowly, the whip it a little faster. I got the swag on fast, I'm going back to it. Slap down my chin and tie left on Big Jagger. You think you fly, but you swap the track match. Oh, wow. Four seconds. <laughs> Oh, that's an unbreakable if you let her just roll by the way you don't know when she's going to stop rolling but if you let her just roll then she didn't even move to do that electric okay That was my fault. KO. Fair, fair. Round three. Fight. Okay. I didn't even throw out a m I didn't even throw out a move, hello? Cool. I need to reread that message where it was like, oh, you're hitting um, f Mighty Ruler for the first time, yada, yada, yada. Sponsorship or endorsement of your website, this practice infringes on Bandai Namco's exclusive intellectual property rights, right? We demand that you immediately remove all Tekken's copyrighted images, logos, or other visible or concealed text within your website located, of course, at that website. Please respond within five business days indicating your actions uh, that you have taken to resolve this matter. Sincerely, of course. Bandai Namco brand protection, right? What's so, with yo, the samurai here? I don't know. Every single Reina that uses that outfit is a certified sweat. Like, it is literally the go-to outfit. The second you see Arena in that outfit, just know they are going to be the most sweatiest niggas you can face. He fires back. He sends a message right back to them, posted as well, right? Saying, dear complainant, I have acknowledged your email regarding the alleged infringement on TekkenMods.com. You demand of the removal of uh, Tekken copyrighted images, logos, or other visible or concealed text from a very specific page, and then posted right there. Given the specific targeting of said URL, it appears that you are primarily concerned with the content present on that particular page, despite the consistent structure, layout, and use of any images, logos, or text related to Tekken that appears throughout TekkenMods.com, with the only distinctions lying in the downloadable files and description associated with each mod on the site. It appears selective to target a specific URL, hinting at ulterior motives beyond copyright protection. Your concerns that the use of said content may suggest Bandai Namco's sponsorship or endorsement of TekkenMods.com when there is a clear disclaimer that is in place on the website in the page in question stating Tekken Mods is not affiliated with Bandai Namco Entertainment Inc. All trademarks are the property of their respective owners. This disclaimer is intended to inform visitors that there is no official endorsement, sponsorship, or affiliation with Bandai Namco, aiming to prevent any confusion regarding the nature of the site's content and relation with your company and its intellectual properties. Therefore, I deny your implied claims that I intentionally seek to attract internet users by suggesting Bandai Namco sponsors or endorses my website. Furthermore, the alleged infringing elements are used in the context of fan-based content creation, which aims to celebrate and promote the Tekken franchise rather than to infringe upon or compete with it. Regardless, I forwarded your complaint to the author of the mod. The author has decided to take down the mod. Acknowledgement of your complaint is not an admission of any wrongdoing. This communication will be made public. Damn, can we say that again? This communication will be made public as well as any future communications for transparency reasons. Please forward future complaints to the email address that, and you can see where it's blanked out right there. Kind regards, Dennis Stanistan. Damn, he said a mouth Fool, didn't it? I mean, look, at one, he, of course, let's get this out the way. He didn't dox anybody. He blanked out everything he needed to. And he spoke his mind. He did not back down. You know what I'm saying? He was like, look, I don't agree. It seems like you're being real specific and you want to, you're hinting at more. You're, you're, you're saying something, but you're not really saying it, right? Because he's like, we've tried to cover our bases on this side and I'll show their website on the screen as well. But he's like, I, I think you guys are doing too much, basically, is what he's saying, right? And also saying, and this is that movie, same nigga I'm blocking him. Okay, it's an American. They made a decision. If I it's match up with that same guy one more time, that fuck bum ass, retarded ass Victor, 
One more time, I'm blocking them. And it's not saying we agree or showing any kind of guilt. You know what I'm saying? We're just doing it because we feel like it's the, the right thing to do. So damn, FGC's reacting. People tag me. Um, who's this? Uh, Rockfist VO. Thank you, man, for tagging me. Also, uh, Mr. Nylon, Mr. Nylon 4, I appreciate the love, man. This definitely caught me by surprise. A lot of people uh, already have strong feelings towards Bandai at this point when it comes to Tekken 8. They feel like they're doing too much. Others are going forward saying like, nah, I mean, they need to focus on the game. They need to focus on the cheaters and the pluggers and shit like that rather than focus, focusing on mods. Because a lot of people in the community love mods. You know what I'm saying? They love what they do for the community. Um, a lot of them were brought into certain games because of certain mods. So, I mean, you can... And then I believe kind of me with Elden Ring. Um, but also, now that I'm looking at it, I'm playing a game with a mod, two mods right now. One of them is the Tekken 5 announcer, and then the second one is to put PlayStation buttons, like X, circle, square, triangle, onto the PC port. So I'm using mods already. If they were to like take down mods in general, like all mods, I would stop playing the game. Because I'm not trying to learn the button notations. Even then, there are mods to add button notations to the game. To add like 1, 2, 3, 4, or square, triangle, circle, X, you know, uh, or the just the colors in general. If you grew up playing Tekken based on the colors without the actual numbers and letters and stuff like that, and the symbols. So, if I have to stick to the actual system that this game provides me where all the, the buttons are gray, and I'm just supposed to figure them out, I'm not I'm dropping the game. Shit, this game already stresses me enough that I want to drop it anyways. Clearly, see, I put some of the Twitter reactions. A lot of people just seem to be upset about this, you know what I'm saying? Uh, some are like, I can assure you that nobody reads Tekken Mods and assumes it was made by anybody at Tekken or Bandai. I even seen one down below that says, if they're attacking the community after millions we spent supporting T7, then I'm not spending another cent on Tekken 8. They really showed their true colors um, in the short two months, right? And it just continues on. So yeah, the people who are showcasing actual assets in the game that are not meant to be used publicly by anyone, that is who Bandai is going after. So anybody using uh, Devil Rainer, Angel Jin, you know, all of those mods you know modding in the unplayable characters that are actually owned by bandai's intellectual properties <laughs> oh no oh no they're coming after me they're coming after me angel jin and devil kazia they're coming after me also um devil reina devil kazia angel jin and then there's a mod, it's somewhere here. I not where it is. But there's a mod somewhere here that allows me, oh yeah, it's killer tool, which allows me to use the bosses. That's what they're going after. But anything that is made using original assets, those that is not a concern to them. But their own actual property is what is raising red flags. And when I saw this, I was like, okay, this is... There, there are two things. To be honest, they can't one. even make me delete it. Bandai Namco could send me a cease and desist telling me, oh, you have to delete the mods from your computer. Can't necessarily make me... Okay, looks like we're finding somebody. Get ready for the next battle. Ah, and Eddie. Eu juro pelo meu mestre. Eu juro pelo meu mestre. Não vou perder. Round one. Fight. Round start? Look at you, you dumbass. You wasted your heat. Oh, he did the triangle one. Okay. Fight. You're weird. You're weird, buddy. You're weird. Yeah, let your heat smash. Your heat gauge exhaust. Who 
Okay. Okay. This Eddie somewhat knows what they're doing. Somewhat. I'll do this one. Do you want to be on that side so desperately? Sure. that i didn't block mo i saw him rolling knew he was going to dive i saw him rolling saw the dive i blocked and i get hit okay okay, <sighs> okay. anyways moving on it's stupid and two this actually happened before in Tekken 7, where hackers, in ranked gameplay as well as quick match, used Devil Kazumi. So, this is something they have seen and dealt with before, and while I did just say before that original assets weren't really a problem, one thing that also did raise a few eyebrows was of course the mods of Elden Ring in Tekken 7. And that also raised a bit of concern, to the point where Harada actually had to step in and say, these are costumes from Bandai, but no, this is not an actual cross-promotion, don't get it twisted. I'm not buying the fight pass just because there's nothing in it that seems really appealing for me. I've already gotten Eddie just because we've already gotten Eddie. That isn't even the beginning of it, man, because it feels like, as I was explaining before from an outsider's perspective, that the honeymoon phase for Tekken 8 is over! It's done! People are fucking pissed! Kind of where the game is going balance-wise, has a huge amount of legacy Tekken players after the last, like, 24, 48 hours. Pretty upset. Albeit, let's go back to what we talked about before. We have to, like, put us into perspective. We're in the first couple of patches of the game. We're getting an idea of where they're going from here. I've only put in 100 hours, man. Guess what? 93 hours of that was no shit from the launch week and a half. I would like to believe, because I I, I do like... I'm a fan of Harada. How could I not be? You know what I'm saying? And Bandai, the other day, sent me a fucking hat. Y'all remember that video? They actually sent me... I don't know who it was. Somebody from Bandai sent me a hat that said Tekken 8, and I thought it was cool as hell. You know what I'm saying? So, I didn't even know there's somebody over there that watches my stuff. But what I'm trying to say is like, I would hope that the game could turn around and that it's not one of those things where it's just like gets worse and worse. You know what I'm saying? Because I I, uh, I think Tekken, you know, the Tekken community has always been such a big part of the FGC. So is MK1, right? But those games seem to be going through some rough ass patches right now. Now, we got Urbeck. We got Urbeck and MK1 right now. And that dude, from my point of view, looks hype as shit. You know what I'm saying? He looks hype as hell. And I really like that reveal. I, I, like that. I won't even lie. I don't really fuck with Urbeck's new design for Tekken, for uh, Tekken, Mortal Kombat 1. I think, till this day, the best Ermac design... Hold on, let me show you. Ermac MK1. Right now, the best Ermac design is... Mortal Kombat Deception. I don't... I don't really fuck with this much. Like, this Ermac fit doesn't really appeal to me. But this one, it wasn't bad. I this is the second best Ermac outfit in the entire franchise. The best one, though, is excuse me. Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance This Mortal Kombat fit, the Mortal Kombat fit for Ermac that was like reddish By far my favorite This one was the best Ermac outfit for me Then after this I'd say Mortal Kombat 9 Then this version the one that we have now, yeah, Mortal Kombat 9, cool Ermac design. The one that we have now, I don't fuck with it. 
It's just... I, I don't like it. Do you know who he reminds me of? The Collector. He just gives off the same vibes as this guy. I look at Ermac and I immediately think of the Collector, but with just two hands. It's like, ugh, mid. Anyways. Play Charlie we saw just yesterday, you know. Now, does that fix the game? No, but I'm saying, I'm trying to be an optimist right now. I really am. But as far as what we're seeing so far in the community taking this personal, like personal attacks, I can also see why some people are seeing it that way. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah. It's just oh yeah, other news. Low Tier God started war with the r slash Tekken Reddit. Not that long ago. Uh, let's see. First, look at this one. This rape? Nigga, where was that? No fuck. Okay. This raven had a 68% disconnection rate. How do you have a 68% disconnection rate, but you're in the orange rank? What? Okay. Learn the tech, man. Bro. And he plugged. Bro, it's a 1 plus 2 grab. Just break out. Learn the tech. Uh, let's see. Orange is the only time you lose points. Nah, you start losing points at yellow. Uh, that's when you can start losing points. But... What? Who the fuck plugs? Just learn the tag! Stop getting 1-2 grabbed! What did- what did the reddit say to this? 68% disconnection rate in the orange ranks is the saddest thing I've ever seen. True. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, anyways. New Tekken 8 logo. Uh, here it is. Low to your god calling out our subreddit because somebody posted a video of, uh, him losing to one of us. Let me find the... The fuck happened there? Hello? What the fuck was that? Oh, nah. How come when I throw kicks out like that, they don't have that type of tracking, you know? When I am Eddie and I throw out those kicks, I don't get that. I don't get the type of tracking that allows me to turn 360 or 180 just to kick somebody. I'm not gonna lie, I have to save that. I have to save that. Cause what the? I'm fighting a Lars. I, where's that one clip of low tier? Ugh, I probably have it. I sent it to the one of the discords. But yeah, we'll read low tier God's tweet when we're done with this. I have way too many tabs open. Round one. Jotaro Kujo. Fight. Take it down. 
Good conditioning. Good, good conditioning. I f the wrong move came out. That's what I was trying to throw out, but hey. I can't breathe! Look at how high that nigga just jumped to try to grab me. Or to do that bullshit. Oh my goodness, I could not breathe in that quarter. I'm still hung up about it. Hello, my move. Okay, that is a frame punish, apparently. Emotion match, let's go! Round one. Fight. I hate when round starts and I just can't throw out the move that I want to. I don't know, I felt like a low was gonna whiff, which it usually does. Wow! Okay. And he still attacks! There's nothing worse than somebody with bad manners. And he continues. Why does that have tracking? Hello? Okay. Why that had tracking is beyond me. He goes into limited entry. He goes into limited entry and then just tracked me. How? Fuck it. Anyways. Let's see low tier gods tweet. Only I can have an entire corny ass pussy Tekken subreddit uh, acting like they won a Nobel Peace Prize for beating me at a scrub ass version of Tekken. Basically, one button supers, sidestep universally seems nerfed, which is true. I scream this all the time. What's the fucking point of sidestepping? 
if you could just get punished anyways. Um, easiest combo routes in any Tekken game to date. Again, I will agree, Eddie literally has a full combo by just pressing 3. By just pressing X, so I'll agree with him there. Heat... He does save a lot of people. Saved me as well, sometimes, so... I'm kind of iffy about it, but to be honest, I would prefer if it wasn't in the game. It's like, I don't like the fact that it's in the game, but I'll utilize it because it's in here. Uh, let's see. Remedial combos, aka modern activation mid-round. Honestly, I just block anybody who uses... Um, what is this shit called? Specialties. I block anybody who I see using that. Uh, etc. I'm surprised that he hasn't... He didn't bring up Rage Arts. Because he... Nobody hates Rage Arts more than Low Tier God. Anyways, for the first time I... Oh, for the last time, I do not take current fighting games seriously. Uh, I am not a tournament or a pro player. Get the fuck off my dick and touch some form of a woman. Y'all were literally born for nothing. End of the day, I win. You're still, well, a nobody. Now, clip in question... Hold on. Clip in question of low tier god losing, which caused him to get all spiteful and shit. Let me just look for it. Here it is. I beat low tier god, smiley face. Context, I wasn't feeling well so I called off of work, thought that I would check out low tier god's restream on IMMO342. I also see some of the restreams there. While I was relaxing, turns out Lotio God was streaming Tekken 8. Uh, at the time, so I decided to hop on ranked. As soon as I seen a player with a 16% disconnection rate, I knew it had to be him. I lost the first match, won the second, and he wasn't very happy about it. And then we'll play the clip once I'm done with this Kazuya. Yeah. Or maybe we can play it now. It's 35 seconds. Low tier god is the fang player, by the way. Surprise that hit. And he plugs! Hilarious. Ugh! Off, off rip! Wait, I've fought this nigga before. What's the point of way? What's the point of sidestepping? Yeah. And then he's gonna go. Yep. All of them. They all try to condition you the exact same way. They all try to condition you the same way. They sprint at you, they wave dash at you, hit you with, uh, two... They, they sprint at you, hit you with two wave dash, uh, health sweeps. And then after that, he's gonna do it again. And then the third time, he goes overhead. They all do that. I don't know why my overhead didn't... Why didn't block high? But hey. They all function the same. It's actually, it's 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 cute. He was about to do it again. They all like all Kazuyas do that. They condition you with two health sweeps, get you into a panic mindset. Then the second you're panicking, then they hit you with the overhead, which leads into a combo. It's it's charming to to an extent. That's the best way I can describe it. It's charming. As uh, the first time you've been to Mighty Rulers or other characters have been uh, who are below denominator. I can't even. Why give me the option to say okay if you're just going to force me to speed read? I think he blocked me. Get ready for the next battle. Now I have to read what it said. 
But yeah, I'm assuming it's saying, oh, this is the first time you're hitting Mighty Ruler, even though it isn't. So all your characters that were below Dominator Denominator, below Dominator, will be pushed to Dominator. I'm assuming that's what I wanted to say. But yeah, low tier god plugging, nothing new. 16% disconnection rate, I'm surprised. Actually, low key, what should happen is that if your disconnection rate passes, surpasses 50%, you should either get temporarily banned, or you should get put in a server with only pluggers. Throw them with the riffraff, that's what they need to do. Or every single time you plug, you lose elo. Ugh, I've fought this Asuka before. Well, it looks like we have a pattern of fighting the same people over and over. Oh, wrong tab. Round one. Fight. That is a one grab. Thank you. She's smarter for wanting to take the health sweeps instead of... She tried to one-grab me again. Round two. Fight. Nice try. I'm not an idiot. If you haven't attacked me... If you haven't, whoa! If you haven't attacked me and you're just spinning around like that, either you're charging up an unbreakable, or you're what? You're planning to go for a low? Like, come on! Oh, damn! I don't know what grab that was. I didn't see it. Round three. Fight. I don't know why my heat smash didn't come out. Where's the music? I can't find my music tab. Did I accidentally close it? That is nasty. I did not know Alyssa could do that. It wasn't letting... Okay. Four. Fight. This game is some ass sometimes. Look at the chip damage, by the way. Perfect. Look at the chip damage. You lose. Look at the chip damage of Alyssa's fucking chainsaws. Why? I was literally trying to throw out my heat smash and I was just stuck in idle. Round one. Fight. Okay. Try to hit me with a grab. That was a pretty cool grab, I won't lie. I will, I'm not even mad at it. Oh, that's a low that forces you to take a high. Cool, as if this game didn't have any... Okay. As if this game didn't have enough of those. Okay. 
Oh, that's a frame trap. Okay. Why did it? Why do you always fall for that one? Fight. <sighs> Fuck it, your life. Huh? She's plus on that? She's plus on that! That's so cool! So when she dives at you, she's just plus. As if she didn't have him an uh, overpowered move already. Oh, I got juggled by that? Oh, that is so cool! She's plus on that. Get ready for the next battle. She's plus on everything. Well, not everything. There's that one move that she throws out where she like spins her body before she throws out another punch. And you can see very clearly that it's punishable. You can punish it with a jab. Um, but yeah, this game has a lot of those. And I, I don't know why I'm acting upset. I should be surprised by this. Hold on. Like, I don't know why I'm surprised by this. Where... I was like, oh, they have a low that makes you take a high. Oh my god. The, oh, and I was like, oh, this is tech. Of course they have that. I just didn't expect this character as annoying as, they're, uh, as they are to have that as well. And then she has that move where she dives at you with the chainsaws. And you think she'd be minus on that. But she isn't? Actually... She... Maybe she is minus, but I'm just throwing out moves that give her the opportunity to block. Let me look at her command list. Let me see. Am I? Am I wrong? Or is it just... Is she actually plus when she does that? What's So she has the ability to counter high hits by just throwing her head off. Okay. It's minus five. If you're on the floor and she's throwing that move out and it's a minus five move, the fuck are you supposed to do? Okay. I'm not looking for that one. What would it even be called? That was dual boot. Okay, there we go. It's 12 frames? It's 12 frames?! You're joking. That's 27 frames. Hold on. Hey, block all. 
Minus 37, which is pretty risky, but a lot of people... It's like you can't even use the audio cue of the jets. Minus 14. And that's a launcher, too. Minus 27. At least you can punish that. Um, how do I get the chainsaws? How do I get the chainsaws? I gotta see something. I wanna see how much that shit is on block. Um, destructive form. Okay, there we go. Minus nine. The fuck are you doing? Jabbing. What's the circle do? Why is she just standing still? Minus nine. The fuck are you supposed to do with that? And if it hits, it's a launch. Never seen an Alyssa throw that one out. But now I know it's a possibility. Frame trapped. First attack is 15 frames. Okay. I got hit by this once off stream and I immediately like I, I stopped playing the game I, I logged off Cuz this is also a grab I guess Although hold on Oh, so you can block both parts. Okay. Good to know. Oh yeah, I'm looking for the dive drill. Uh, where is it called again? Okay. The fuck did I do there? Look at the evasion she has on that. There's no punishing this. It says minus 52. Bitch, are you punishing this? No. And she can fly while on top of that. Cool. Cool. Anyways. Cool. All right, there we go. Oh. So she is plus on that. No, she's not even plus. It puts you in neutral. Okay. I think Alyssa is a character we don't talk about enough when it comes to talking about nerfs. Just my opinion. We don't talk about her enough when it comes to nerfing. A lot of these characters need a lot of balancing. Alyssa is one of them. The but anyways, those Kazias, those Kazias will do the same thing. Wave dash, wave dash, uh, wave dash, hell sweep, wave dash, hell sweep, wave dash, overhead. You know? Because now they've conditioned you into thinking that oh they're just gonna keep spamming held held um hell sweep they keep condition they think oh okay 
He thinks... He now thinks that I'm gonna use it again. Let me go for... Oh. Oh. Okay. Round one. Fight. Alyssa, why are you blessed? Oh. Why are you plus frames? Plus nine my fucking ass! Plus nine my fucking ass! Round two. Fight. Oh, she's minus nine! You're a joke. This game is actually full of jokes. This game is actually full of jokes. What's the point of studying frame data? Oh my goodness. What's the point of telling me? Oh. Minus nine. Minus nine. Round Absolute three. fuck shit. Fight. It's not gonna lead into anything. It's not going to lead into anything. Oh, it led into something. Cool. At this point, that's all I can do. That's all I can do. Just jab. Jab. Minus nine means jab. That is a one plus two. No, that's on one move. Do you know what's crazy? She hit me with the low, right? She hit me with the low. Okay. It's crazy. She hit me with the low. I blocked the low, and she was still plus on that. She still was plus on that. The nerfs that we're not talking about. Fight. Huh? I was blocking. Oh yeah, I forgot. She can also fly on wake up! As if she wasn't as broken as is. I knew that was coming. Harry's don't Fight. mean shit. I ducked. Okay. Okay. Oh, the... Okay. Ah, uh, I don't know what the startup for that move is, but it needs to get extended. She shouldn't have a... Yep, that was a mistake. She shouldn't have something that makes her avoid moves like that. And have that be such a fast startup. That looks faster than 17 frames, by the way. 
Oh, she's gonna get saved by the wall. Oh, you're trying the wall was doing its best to save you right there. The wall was doing its absolute best to save you. Fight. I don't even know what the, the punish frames are for that move. Okay. Final round. Fight. I don't know how that hit her. I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't supposed to. Like, I recognize that the hitbox was kind of janky there. But, hey. Perfect. <sighs> But I'm not leaving Mighty Ruler. I'm not leaving Mighty Ruler. Seems like that's where I'm like... Because this game will constantly throw me up against the same niggas. It unironically makes Tekken less fun. Especially for me. Because like... I'm tired of fighting the same people over and over. Oh, that's a low that makes you... Okay. It's a low that makes you take a high. Because of course this game has that. Okay. She's not fucking minus minus nine or whatever. Okay. Round three. Two electric jigaboo. Oh, boogaloo. My bad. Man, fuck this game. Yeah. Oh, how fortunate! I, oh my god, I swear, it's j I'm just being lagged out. It's actually the Wi-Fi, like, I figured it out. Did they just plug? Okay. Tekken 8. Tekken 8. Watch. Watch. It's gonna match me up with the same person. Watch it be Alyssa. Watch it be uh, Alyssa. 
Get ready for the next battle. Oh, okay, it's a gin. He surprised me. Huh. Have I fought this gin before though? That's the prop. I'm trying to evaluate the way this gin moves. I'm trying to evaluate this gin. Never in my life have I seen that grab before. What was he trying? Okay. You know what? Should have expected that. That was my fault, my incompetence. Uh Try to do that fuck ass low. Okay. Okay. Don't please! Okay, thank you. I thought the wall was about to sell me. Okay. He usually goes for the low after that. Stop it. There we go. Let's see, is he going to plug? Or is he going to take the loss? WU for not plugging. I communicate. I didn't say no. The game said no. Speaking of which, while I'm here, I got a bitch ass nigga I gotta block. Hey, I didn't say no. The game said no. was that one guy who kept on What's this one no manners hold on log me into the online real quick damn why am i so hungry why am i so hungry when last did I eat? Eight in the morning? What time is it? Two in the morning. Okay, that's why. Hey, there's one nigga I need to block. Also, recently finding out that, oh, you can only block up to a total of 100 people. Which, why? I have no idea.
But even though I'm blocking you, I will still download your ghost. He's a Tenryu with Lars and Claudio. Jesus Christ. Yeah, give me give me your, your victor. Yeah. There's somebody else whose thing I wanted to steal so I could copy or study against their what is it? Against their ghost. Fuck it. Don't care anymore. I am so hungry. I don't know, bro. It's like my stomach is gonna eat me alive. Daddy Gordo. Oh no. Daddy Gordo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try get my ranking to the halfway point for Battle Ruler. No, Mighty Ruler. Battle Ruler is the last get one of the Ruler the ranks. Battle. So I'll get my thing to the middle of Mighty Ruler. Then I'll end the live stream there just so that I can eat. Because my stomach ain't feeling too good, fam. It's not. feels like it's digesting itself. This connection rate of 2%. I wonder who it could be. I was considered airborne, unless she has an airborne grab. Which, okay. Oh, am I about to get sold? You can't even jab out of it? Uh, I didn't even notice that she had rage. Okay. The fact that she just no you can just sidewalk it. Not even sidestep, sidewalk. Oh wait. Look at that, look at that. She could just sidewalk everything. Cool. You lose. Yeah, ne? She's just constantly sidewalking. But if I try to... Oh, 
Oh yeah, because it puts her neutral. It puts us in neutral. Then she just throws out a faster attack. And for some dumb reason, it's faster than a jab. I didn't mean to switch sides. Thank you. I just need it. Uh. Oh, it's a low that forces you to take a high. She can sidestep me, no problem. Whenever I try to sidestep her, it's just a problem. Okay. I mean, no matter what I threw out, I would have gotten punished for that. Look at the tip damage! Oh. The nerf that we don't talk about. That came out faster. Faster than 14 frames. Yeah, you know what? I don't want to fight this nigga no more. Here we go. The nerf that we do not talk about. R slash anime's favorite horror animes. Number one, When They Cry, Perfect Blue, Another from a New World, Shiki, Darling Gathering. Parasite is number eight? Would Parasite be considered horror? I guess, sure. Made in Abyss? I don't even know if I'd consider that horror. Doro Hidoro is number 10, Devilman Crybaby, School Life, Mononoke, Promised Neverland, Promised Neverland at number 15, Happy Sugar Life, Chainsaw Man in the... Is Chainsaw Man considered horror? Wait, hold on, I gotta reread this list. Favorite horror anime, Chainsaw Man, number 17. Helsing Rising, number 18. Akira, number 20. Akira is considered horror? Okay. Zom 100, Elfin League, and Berserk. Berserk is number 24. Ghost Hunt is number 25. I did not expect to see Chainsaw Man on this on this list. Might be body horror. Yeah, that could be it. Still didn't expect it to see in the see in the top twenty. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Definitely threw me off. Chainsaw Man. Hmm. Why do higher level players let Mishima's wave dash in their face? I'm a noob, so I don't understand. Ugh, I'm fighting a Jin. Having a Mishima wave dash in your face because... Oh, wait, dash in your face sucks because it's a true 50-50. If you jab, they always try this. They won't have... To... Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me... Mm. Wait a minute, I've fought this gym before. Nigga just changed his skin. Uh, 
I should lose on purpose? Yeah. I didn't even block that one. Huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, might might actually lose this. The fact that they know they could just sidewalk. That knocked me out of my... It knocked me out of my heat smash. I love... I just love when the game does that. What? Okay. Okay. No promotion chance, I guess. No promotion chance, I guess. I fucking hate gin players! Ah! Oh well. It is what it is. Every single time I try to punish somebody for staying on the, on the floor for too long, I get punished. But every single time I try to punish somebody else, Ish, Bob's your uncle. It's like, oh, I'm lying on the floor. Let me attack. Nope, get punished. They're on the floor. Hey, let me throw an attack. Always hits. Right, it's most likely the same gin. Let's see. Same gin. Like, there's no ways there's this. Oh, this is his promotion chance. Congratulations. Oh, he's definitely gonna fight like it. This nigga throwing out every combo he has. I 
I keep forgetting when I'm fighting Jin that he's plus on everything. I don't know why I keep forgetting that. And I love... I didn't even mean to press that! I, I didn't even mean to throw that heat out, but hey. Oh, that has tracking! So cool! I blocked low, but hey! Hey! Hey, I blocked low, but hey! I can't even punish him. I can't... I can't even punish! When he throws... Okay. Jin is a sidestep left, by the way. Just letting you know. He's a sidestep left, and I sidestep left. He's a sidestep left. Literally, nothing I throw at can punish. Literally, nothing I could throw at could punish. Jin is a sidestep left, by the way. I sidestepped. He jabs. I got hit. Why? I don't fucking know. Meanwhile, he can just sidewalk. <sighs> what a lovely game. Eh, perfect. Okay. I can't- he's plus on everything. I can't punish- not even with a regular jab. I can't even punish with a regular jab. Beautiful game. So cool. Yep, grabbed. Uh. I hate throwing that grab out. Because <sighs> he can just roll through all my attacks. That didn't even punish? Okay. There's nothing I can throw out. I saw that- look, I even blocked it and I couldn't punish it. So he doesn't get punished for that. He doesn't get punished for that roll thing. He immediately just gets to attack. Cool. I didn't even get to throw my heat out. Mind you, I'm just jabbing.
I'm just throwing out regular jabs. <sighs> Anyways. I'm going to the bathroom real quick. Going to go take a piss. Uh, insufficient disk space to continue recording. Oh, okay. Means this live stream. Uh, delete. There we go. Yeah, there's a lot of space I need to clear up on this thing. All right, I'm coming back. Why do you have that? Have what? Why do I have what? <sighs> Take a What's that one YouTuber's video? How to sidestep properly. Because maybe, maybe that'll help me. Maybe that'll help me. If I can just sidestep right. Or if, oh, yeah. C DX. All right, offensive side steps. Let's go. Friends, any fresh face that joins the Tekken community. How do you sidestep? This will be a quick toe dip into sidestepping. We're going to look at just offensive sidestepping, which is a tiny, tiny, tiny portion of how deep the entire sidestepping game goes. Uh, I'm about to soapbox about learning concepts and fundamentals, so if you don't care about any of that, there are timestamps below. You can jump to the lesson, you jump to the summary. But if you skip ahead, please drop a comment and a like. It helps me continue making educational content and cope with the fact that I'm not out of destruction yet. That image? So this is one, offensive oh, I just have it for the sake of having it. I need it. Like, 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 very first frame trap. I needed a filler image while I went to the bathroom. So that's why I have it. Just for the sake of filler. I think that if you can survive long enough to get off the ground and then run your offense, your frame trap, you can climb to purple ranks if not higher. Assuming you're continuing to learn other things as well. In Tekken 201, we try to increase our consistency. So learning to block punish gives you a lot of free damage for, well, blocking. And learning to break throws helps keep you alive longer to run your offense. So we have those two things. And then when you add spacing and movement, we also start to skew the rock, paper, scissors, that is, you know, all fighting games, in our favor. So instead of going hit for hit with our opponents and trying to gamble on having the right read, we can use movement to bait their attacks and punish them for whiffing. With this technique and proficiency in whiff punishment, you can actually get really far without knowing a lot of frames, knowing how to sidestep, knowing specific block situations, and knowing a bunch of setups. You just create space and hit them for free when they mess up. Now, Tekken 301 is where we start diving into a lot of details, and that's where we are now. Uh, when your opponents are a little more cognizant of whiffing and not just doing unsafe moves, or they play characters that have like unmovable moves, looking at you, Lars, Azucena, how can we turn a game of rock, paper, scissors to our advantage? And sidestepping is the first way to do this. Now, I need these steps 101, 201, 31, because I think it's important to go in order. But many people are going to want to just jump into sidestepping. My opinion, actually, is that the 301 series where we are now actually requires more memorization and more knowledge than the 201 series. If you try to skip a lot of the learning, you might end up getting really stuck and frustrated. But you're welcome to check this out and try to apply these tactics. Just remember that building foundations in order, in my opinion, will be much better for your overall growth. Okay, so boxing over. Let's look at sidestepping. Welcome back. The first time stamp skippers. Good to see you. Let's check out sidestepping, shall we? So. The very, very, very first things about sidestepping. First, I want to show you a demonstration. That's what I have on screen here. The first thing before we do any of this is you need to know frame data. Okay, I know I said you can skip ahead if you want to, but if you don't know frame data, this is going to be a nightmare. Okay, you just need to know some basics, plus and minus frames, stuff like that. Pay attention to how I play this match. This is a ranked replay. I'm going to run it now. I'm the Lily on the left. I'm fighting this Azucena. And look at what I do. I do an unsafe string because I'm just testing it out. Okay, you'll start to see it. I eat an armor move. Hang tight, it's coming. Okay, DF1, sidestep 2 4. There's my first offensive sidestep. I would replay it, but you're going to see it 100 million more times. This is that second king. There it is again. Sidestep 2 4. Poke, sidestep 2 4. Why is this so effective? I just did it again. It was sidestep down 3. But why is this working? 
So I'm throwing a poke, which he's blocking. And if you look at the actual frame situation, I'll point out the next time it happens, right? You can see me trying a few times there, down forward one side step, but nothing happens. There it works again. Let's look at the frame situation. Let's understand why this is working, okay? Next down forward one, right here. Well, not as a forward four. Here we go. Lily is minus one. The text might be a little small, but Lily's minus one. Azazane is plus one, you know, uh, conversely. If Azazane jabs, her jab comes out one frame faster than my jab. So it makes sense to use a jab as the fastest way to retaliate and catch anything that I'm doing. If I chose to do an armor move, her jab would recover in time, so she would still get HP. Or she would still have HP advantage, right? So here, I'm technically giving up my turn because I'm minus one. The offensive sidestep here is a way to circumvent the frame disadvantage. So by sidestepping, even though I'm minus and I can't hit a button, I can sidestep to get around her fastest button. And because she whiffs, I get this punish. And that's how I won the entire first round. You can see I tried again, but I end up missing. Here's another situation. There you go. Nice back turn read. And there, this surprised me. She ended up jabbing again, right? I'm showing this situation over and over again. This is in Tekken King, by the way. I down forward one, I sidestep, and the jab whiffs, but I didn't punish because I didn't expect her to. And this is the concept we're going to be exploring today. Using poke into sidestep and punishing the whiff with a free attempt. I'm going to talk about the specific methods for uh, kind of reverse engineering the proper sidestep based on the situation. Obviously, the most effective way of doing this is going to be going to the lab and labbing what to sidestep. But that's a lot of work, and I know a lot of people don't want to do a lot of work. So I'm going to show you how I uh, figure this out in game. Uh, understanding, of course, that you will drop games trying to figure this out. But I want to let the rest of this replay rock just to show you how much HP I get off of just using offensive sidestepping. Down forward one, sidestep. It's not a jab, but I got punished, and I can into a flow combo here. <clears throat> you can rewatch this replay too. Uh, again, I try not to pause too much just to show it. But look at how much HP I got just off of that. Down forward one, sidestep. This is a flow chart, right? I would not recommend this. Uh, I would not recommend getting super comfortable with this as a default option every time, like just hitting the button. But I kept using it because it was so effective. And now you can see this led to we saw a sneak preview of the next layer of the mind game, right? If I'm always doing sidestep button, his idea was to do an armor move, right? If I'm going to sidestep and do a button, he can do the heat burst and cover that option. But he didn't have enough HP and he died, right? So sidestepping extremely powerful for getting around minus frame situations. Let's close that replay that served its purpose. Let's look at how we're going to figure this out. The only problem with sidestepping in this game is the amount of moves that have tracking. The amount of moves. And you know what? Maybe just fuck me. Enough sidestepping like this with Eddie. Enough sidestepping with the Benenira stance. In... The, I use it so I can punish immediately, like with the, the hyper armor, right? That's why I use it, to use power crush. That's why I usually sidestep like this. But apparently, it's a flawed system. Plus, apparently it seems to be faster to just... Even though, look at Yoshi... Look, 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 look. If I... Go into the Ben and Nero stance. Oh! He said to block all, that's why. Okay. Could easily get around. See, it makes me like, directly on his side. To get that grab in. But, if I sidestep, I have to take a little bit. Let me see. Yep. Oh. With one of these, I'm already at length. Yeah, it's gonna take a while, bro. Sidestepping in this game is actually just... It's abysmal. So, what to do? Poke and then sidestep. What is a poke? A lot of people ask me what a poke is. Poke is a fast move, a low reward, low risk, right? So, most down forward ones in this game are pokes. Right? Quick mid, you do a quick low, lots of options here. Uh, usually you're gonna want to use a mid poke because if it's blocked, you're still safe. If Dragonite were to block this low poke, you get the punish, so that's not an appropriate time to go for a side set. Okay? What you're gonna do is poke instead. And what's really good at countering is if your opponent is a jab. So I've set Dragonov to do these pre preset punishments. Does Eddie even have a mid? This man does not have a mid jab. This is the best thing he has to a mid jab. And it's 13 frames. So you could just duck this. 10, 12, 13, 14. Oh, okay. And these aren't mids. Do I have one? 14, 15, 18, 23, 13. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Different sequences, right? So I'm gonna hit him and he'll jab back, right? Great for countering jabs. Uh, it's also great for countering mid pokes. So his next sequence here is also a mid poke. And then there's people doing down jabs like this, countering your offense, and there's people doing parries. Sidestepping is good for that. The reason it's good for countering parries is because it naturally covers this timing. So instead of attacking twice in a row, you're sidestepping, they're wasting their time parrying, and you can hit them. Now, let's talk about how to approach this when you're actually in a game. The first thing to do, so let's say I don't know what Dragonov's gonna do next. I turn on all of these options. I'm gonna poke him in sidestep, right? That's our very, very first uh, fun. Fighting an Alyssa. Ugh, and this Alyssa paid for the game. Round one. She got a shitty Wi-Fi too. Fight. Huh. 
Okay, fair, baited me. Wow, she just flies over that. That's a mid, by the way. She just flew over it, but it's a mid. Wi-Fi is laggy as shit. Fight. Thank you. Didn't even mean to throw that move out. KO. She's mashing. What country is she from? Round three. Fight. Most likely Europe. Try to throw out the heat smash, whatever it's called. Whoa! Okay, cool. She tried a floor break again. Cause I hate fucking Alyssa's bro. That shitty ass Wi-Fi, guaranteed I am not matching up again. Get ready for the next battle. Fundamental here. Or kind of our first course of action. I'm gonna put that at the top back here. I'm gonna that's on a poke. Poke sidestep. Okay, and I like to do sidestep block. Because you don't know if you're gonna be right or wrong, right? So you just keep sidestep and hitting the button, you just keep getting smacked. So poke and sidestep. Watch what they do. I know it seems really simple. But technically, the game has a lot going on. Sometimes it's hard to pay attention to what you're doing. So, so watch what they do specifically. I'm gonna turn Dragonov down to one specific option, because in early levels people tend to spam the same option. And let's say he jabs every time I do a down forward one. Now I know what he's gonna do. So if he's gonna whip, I'm gonna whip punish. Oops, that's the wrong poke. Down for one step, poke, or launch. Plain and simple, right? Now it might not always be that simple. Let me record Dragon off doing another option here. Or I can just use this one. Say instead of jabbing back, he is down for one. And I've been stepping right this whole time. Well, now I'm getting hit. So what do we do in this situation? This is probably what most of you run into, right? Did their poke hit you? Well, try a few things. Try stepping the other way. Okay, so if I do down for one, sidestep left, it does dodge. Okay, wait a minute. Make sure the bot responds. There we go. So sidestep right was getting hit. I should try sidestep left. You can also try side walking to see if that gives you enhanced evasion. But as you can see, off down forward one will track side walk right, even at minus one, which is what this down forward one is unlocked. So you have to pay really close attention. If you just kind of spam sidestep and don't know what's going on, not watching your opponent's retaliation, not knowing your move, you're gonna be in a weird situation, right? And sometimes sidestep block isn't appropriate. But here you can see I'm sidestep blocking to the left and he's still hitting me. So whatever you do, step consistently. Just like typing all caps consistently would be important. If you sometimes step block, sometimes step neutral, and then sometimes side walk, it's gonna be impossible to diagnose what is the correct step. The reason we attack, the reason I teach offensive sidestepping first is because it stabilizes the sidestep situation. The fact that you are the one swinging, dictating the timing of the next move, helps to make the sidestep more consistent because sidesteps have a lot of changing variables. If your opponent delays their attack, if you delay your sidestep, right, there's a lot of timing. So going off of your attack makes it a lot more consistent. But it's important to watch what your opponent does. It's important Okay. Bro, these side steps feel like baby inches. Okay. Você tem que usar mais a cabeça. Doesn't feel like I've sidestepped much. Honestly, it doesn't feel like I've done much. Okay. Important to watch I guess that's something I need to practice if I don't drop this game. Now the next thing to look at, outside of these, is did they do a homie move that tracked you? 
So this one I haven't had recorded. Let me record Dragonov doing this. If you've never seen the punishment feature before, it's pretty cool. You block the response and then record, or you block the bot and then record the response that you want Dragonov to do. So now when I poke him, he's gonna do a homing move. So if I sidestep, it's gonna track me no matter what. There's no amount of sidewalking or sidestepping that will beat this. The counters to homing moves is sidestep block. And now Dragonov is minus seven. Most homing moves are minus unblock. You see laws here is minus 12. This one is minus seven, although it has an extension. Point is homing moves have downsides. They're making an attempted read on your sidestep and either give up advantage after or are doing a really slow move. <clears throat> so your counter, if they're doing a homing move, is not to sidestep. It's just to hit them. Right? Interrupt them if they're going for a homing move. And just like all options that you pick out of this sidestep, this poke into step, you have to watch what they do. You cannot just sidestep and expect it to work. Okay. Now, uh, the same thing applies to realignment moves. So it might not be an explicit homing move, but it may be a realignment move. So say Dragonov blocks your move and then does a running two. Oops, that's not a running two. Jeez. Let's see if I can do this. If not, I'll have to switch my case on a controller. There we go. Not the best running two, but it will serve the purpose. So say I try to sidewalk here. Right? Sidewalk left can work. But say I was reading a different move. That might track me. Instead of dealing with that, I can just hit him. That's the whole purpose of that. Dragonov also has another tracking move. It's not an explicit homing move, but uh, one of his best moves. Let's see if I can. It's in the preset move list here. Down two. Nice. So I poke him, he does down two. You'll see that if I try to step this either way, it'll just follow me. So it's not explicitly homing, but in this frame situation at minus one, it's basically homing. However, it's 19 frames, uh, 18 frames slow, 19 frames with the sidewalk. So instead of trying to step him, I just hit him. Pay attention to what they do, pick the appropriate counter option. That is second. Now there are big things to avoid here. Oh, but then you have gins. Time. You have gins that will do that fucking scrape move, which for some re weird reason, beyond my comprehension, has tracking. Right, it has tracking and it low profiles all the jabs. Oh yeah, but he said mid jab. And he doesn't have a mid jab! Oh, okay. Okay. It catches a lot of people and is really important to avoid developing bad habits. I pasted all of them here, but no spoilers, let's go in order. Do not autopilot sidestep button unless you have a good read, okay? You don't want to make a habit out of just doing this into sidestep button every single time. And you saw one reason why immediately. When you sidestep, you are spending time, right? If I just do down forward one, down forward two, I will, I will counter hit him. If I do down forward one, sidestep down forward two, I've wasted time moving for no reason, okay? Sidestepping is a read to make a retaliation with. So don't do it for no reason. Um, another clear example of this situation is if I turn on- Bro, eventually I'm gonna need to learn... Uh... What is it? If I could land that unbreakable kick that Eddie has... This would be amazing. Likeliness of me landing it though? Unlikely. It looks like two highs though. Also, I wouldn't... Nah, I'm not gonna risk it. I was gonna say, I wonder if it goes through Rage Arts. I doubt it. Hmm, okay. What the hell is that? Back, back, L2. So just like forward forward three or forward forward four, you can do back back, back back L2 or X and triangle. It's an unbreakable kick with like 74 frames of startup, I think. Yeah, like 77 frames. 77 frames startup, but... But, it's unbreakable. Or, not unbreakable, unblockable. Uh, let me look at it real quick again. Uh, where is it? Back, back. Here it is. Fruit picker! Oh, you can cancel it! Oh? If you feel like that you're gonna get the hit, could you go for it? But you can cancel it. It has no other special qualities. I don't know if he low profiles when he's in that move. But yeah, it looks very punishable. Not even worth throwing out. Turn on Dragon's down forward two. I hope this is the right option. Look at that, I remember things. Not that old yet. If I sidestep down forward two here, I get hit. Right? If I sidestep either way and hit my button, I'm not blocking. That's a long time you're not blocking. So do not autopilot sidestep button. The next tip is to make sure your frames are good for sidestepping. The general rule is that if you're minus five or worse, it gets really hard to sidestep. And the reason is, is because jabs start to track at minus five. So uh, if someone in chat can help me with a lot of minus frame moves, I don't have an exact minus five one. But you can see here, if I go minus nine and try to sidestep, I'm getting clipped. If I go minus eight, I'm also getting clipped trying to sidestep. Minus eight there, minus seven here, still getting clipped. And you can kind of see minus three, I can still sometimes sidestep this move. But even then, it gets kind of finicky depending on the direction and uh, the specific jab that you're trying to deal with. Right? So the point is, when you're going excessively minus, usually minus five is the guideline, be careful about sidestepping. Okay. 
Another time that's completely inappropriate to sidestep. Well, completely inappropriate is a broad generalization. But I would say in general, you don't want to sidestep if you're plus, if you have huge plus frames. So if I'm plus six here and I sidestep, it actually tracks me, right? And the reason is my evasion window is running out. I'm finishing my sidestep. Uh, and you can see it's inconsistent right away. But you can even finish your sidestep before they can even act. And then by the time you sidestep block, you block their jab, and now you're minus one. By doing a sidestep on autopilot, you gave up your advantage. Here's another reason why it's really dumb. Say I do running three, sidestep down four, two. He hit me first. This is a similar concept to what I showed in the first point, which is you're wasting time. You were plus six, you had the advantage, you could have just hit him. But you chose to sidestep. You chose to sidestep, gave up all your frame advantage, and now even though you both did a 15 frame move, his 15 frame move is now faster. So just frame trap if you have plus frames. It takes some advanced, like I think player versus player reads to take plus frames and go for a sidestep. It's really, really like high level. I've played this guy for months in my basement and I know exactly all his habits, right? Totally different. If you have plus frames, just frame, frame trap. Just frame trap him. Just frame trap him. Right? Do your dragon hammer, get your counter hit launch, or whatever frame trap your character has, right? <clears throat> now finally, the last thing is if they are someone who's just turtling, like they're just blocking, this is in a similar vein, same concept. Don't waste time sidestepping, right? Say they never retaliate, say they just keep blocking, right? All this sidestepping is just giving up your pressure, right? You have plus one, you have the next move. You have plus three, you have the next move. Don't waste it entering a Konami code before you do your attack. It doesn't buff your next attack, okay? You do up, up, down, down, left, right, you don't get a stronger attack. Take your plus frames, do your mix-up. Keep it very, very simple, okay? These are the key things to avoid. This is very, very, very important, all right? Now let's look at a little bit of a preview of the next steps. What if your opponent starts sidestepping you? Right, what if they are applying these tactics to you? Say Dragon does this, and then sidestep down forward too. Okay, this is using a sidewalk. This is the first one to sidestep. How do you counter this if your opponent is doing this to you? You probably won't see this for a while, except if they're VX viewers and they decide to try to apply this. So what do you do if you're retaliating and they're just hitting you? I've listed the four solutions here. They all apply in slightly different situations. Let's go through them. You can apply a quick tracking move right away. So Law specifically has this back four, which is homing. This is a unique strength to him. But Dragonov, as you saw earlier, had his down two. So some characters have moves that aren't truly homing but are tracking. This is an option. So Dragonov, if you were playing as Dragonov, you track with down two. But I'm playing Law. I'm gonna probably use back four. Right? Explicitly homing, but it doesn't have to be. Um, this tracks the quick sidestep. It loses if they sidestep block. So for example, if Dragonov just does down for one and blocks. Hmm. Oops, I just didn't play. I'm minus seven now. Right? So I gave up more advantage attacking into his block. But if they're doing sidestep button, it's a good option to just do your tracking move. Bro, at this point, I'm never going to rank up. I'm the reason why I don't think I'm ever gonna rank up is because, like, bro, look at how long it takes for me to just match up once. It's like, it's moments like these. Like, playing video games will really make you want to move to another country. Like, it's moments like these when I want to move out of South Africa, or just Africa in general. Because the servers are just so negative towards us. They're just ass. Absolute cheeks. Takes forever just to match up with one person. It's like, and not only that, it's like it takes forever to match up with one person, and then when I do match up, it's matching up with the same person. Sidewalk. In a similar vein, if they commit to a bigger sidewalk like this, so the first one's a sidestep, he's walking a bit before the down forward two, I can just do my homing move. Law's back three is closer to a traditional Tekken character's big homing move, so I'm using that in this example. Um, this is another counter. Okay. Another option you have is to use a slower move, right? So Law's Dragon Hammer is not tracking, right? Law's down forward two, only, these moves only track one way, right? So let me record Dragonov countering this with down forward one, sidewalk left, down forward two, right? So th this should beat the Dragon Hammer, right? Because he's sidewalking. So he sidewalks the direction that will beat the Dragon Hammer. But if your opponent is just playing autopilot sidestep button, which we showed earlier, like this, this sidestep should beat my jab, let me confirm before I mislead all of you. Or my down forward one, sorry, he didn't step deep enough. That's another thing, sidestepping has like a depth component. You can cancel your sidesteps early, so it's important sometimes to get the full distance of the sidestep. There we go. So it's dodging my down forward one. I can just do a slower move and it might hit. Every hitbox has slightly different properties, but a slight delay here with my dragon hammer realigns me and his sidestep button dies. If I do an immediate timing dragon hammer, like as soon as I can, it can sometimes whiff. But as you can see, the fact that it was a slower button and the fact that he is hitting out, he's putting out his own button puts him at risk of getting hit. So you can oh, play a slower button or a delay button. Now, the same way. Instead of bothering with a tracking move, you can wait a second, let him sidestep, let the sidestep expire, and then hit. All this. Ah, oh, and it's a dragon off. I guess we're going to be practicing the sidesteps. Round one. And it's a promotion match for him. Fight. Nice. Tried to do the running punch move. Like, imagine. Fucking Dragon Offs, bro. He's plus on that. He's plus on that. He's plus on that. Cool. Cool. He's plus. Bora! 
Three. Who is he even supposed to fight? Now that I'm thinking about it, who the fuck is he supposed to be? But I don't know, that's what's pissing me off. Who is he supposed to be? Fight. Oh yeah, forgot Dragon off his plus on that. He's plus on that. You lose. I forgot Dragon off his plus on that. Just a frame trip. You can't even jab out of it with anyone. Round one. I remember I tried to jab Fight. out of it with Leroy once. Oh, of course. Oh. Uh, I must. Okay. I must start launching him. He was smart. For, I saw the backup. I didn't process it though. Fight. Until it was too late. One thing you can say about this dragon off. He's not dumb. He is not dumb. Oh, you tried to heat smash. How did he know the right call? Okay. Okay. And I'm blocking him. Fight. I saw that, but eh. Round four. Fight. He has a grab from. Of course he does. Of course he does. Of course he does. Of course he does. KO. Of course he does. Final he does. round. Fight. My health got to this with chip damage alone, by the way. Chip damage fucking alone yeah cut him to back the fuck away please okay Yeah, that's unfortunate. It is.
is what it is, though. And him. The last thing you can do is kind of advanced. Uh, I don't really recommend this unless you're playing at pretty pretty high level, like very very high level. Even I'm not doing this very much. Okay. Sidestep with them. This applies a different kind of applies. This applies a different kind of mental pressure. They're expecting you to whiff and doing a button, right? The fact that you are suddenly on axis with them again can make them hesitate. It can also find counter hit opportunities because your retaliation won't whiff. However, again, this is very sensitive to the opponent's side of timing, your side of timing, the specific moves that both characters are doing. So this is a pretty advanced technique. It's not something I recommend by default. And that is offensive side stepping. If you are a timestamp jumper, welcome back. Please consider subscribing. That's the last advertisement I hit you with. Okay, if you jump here, please consider subscribing. Only out of all ten, if you ten viewers, only four people are subscribed. That would help me out of time. Here's your summary. Okay, first thing you gotta know is your frame data. Okay, when you're offensive side stepping, you have to know your frame data. What you're gonna do is you're gonna poke you're gonna step. This is a very very basic autopilot strategy uh, for doing this. If you missed the demonstration earlier, poke and step is gonna help you counter most options right away. Uh, it's good against these specific things, jabs, mid post, down, jabs, and parry. Now, you have to watch what they're doing. And if you just paid attention to what I did, you can see why that's really important. Dragon's down forward two, track sidestep left, but not sidestep right. So you have to pay close attention. You can't just start throwing sidesteps down and be like, oh my god, I got hit sidestepping technique is horrible. You know, it's not that it's not that simple. Okay? I'm gonna apply sidestep left, step consistently, pick one option. If you consistently are getting beat in the same situation over and over again, change your sidestep. We are reducing our variables by choosing offensive sidestepping. By doing this mid-poke, I'm setting the timing that his move will come out next. Well, trying to. If he, if he delays his button, there's nothing I can do. But I'm trying my best to stabilize the situation and learn how things work. So if I'm always poking and doing sidestep left, I can learn more or less for sure what moves track which way. So if I go to the right, I get away punish. If I go to the left, I get hit. Okay, and this is how you'll test things out in game. Say I see Dragon always doing down forward one. It looks like my sidestep left beats it, but if I go sidestep right, his poke hits me. And this is how you can start to build a bank of like instinct knowledge without labbing every single situation in the context of your character. Right? In the context of your character, you will start to figure things out. You'll get a good sense of oh, I'm fighting this guy, I'm a down forward one step left, boom. Alright, if he picks his, his launcher, I'm gonna do this, sidestep right, right? And then there are a few guidelines um as well. If they whiff with punish it's easy. If they're poke hit you, pay attention to which way you need to step. And if they're doing a homing move, um this is the big thing. If they're doing a homing move, uh, you need to just interrupt them. Right? Homing moves tend to be slow, just find your counter opportunity. You don't have to spend all the time trying to sidestep the perfect way, stuff like that. And this is how you can start to figure out opponent's move sets without diving too deep into practice mode. Again, with the caveat, you will probably drop games if you leave practice mode too long. Things to really, really avoid: don't sidestep button unless you have a good read. Reason being, your opponent can just decide to uh, you're giving up your advantage. Sorry, if, if you just keep sidestepping when you have plus frames or an advantage, you're just giving up, giving up your advantage. If you're plus six, doing a sidestep, you're not plus six anymore. You're, you're giving up all that frame advantage just to move for no reason. Jabs will track you when you're minus five or worse. So the general guideline is don't go for sidesteps if you are super minus. Right, minus five or worse tends to be the guideline. But there are plenty of other situations too where sidestep can get serious. So you're fighting someone with really long range. If you try to sidestep at a uh, Minus eight, try to sidestep the running two. Dragon has to delay it really long, right? You can see he has this little forward dash before he even gets the running two off. If he decides to do running two right away, you're gonna get hit. So uh, keep your sidesteps tight, or don't sidestep at all if you're really, really minus. Just frame after your plus frame. We talked about that. And then if they're just blocking, if they're just turtling, don't waste your time sidestepping. Same rationale. You're plus one off this jab. Play your mix up, right? You're plus three off the dragon hammer. Play your mix up. If you sidestep, you're giving up all that advantage. He can just swing at you, and it's a uh, you basically didn't go plus at all. And if your opponent's sidestepping you, these are your options to counter them. If you want to see specific examples, I would jump back to the timestamp. It goes through how to apply each of these. But these are your options if your opponent is spamming sidesteps against you. I don't expect this to happen very often. Uh, this is why I told people didn't see it. <laughs> I don't expect this to happen often unless people are FDX viewers or really studying the game. However, it is something to pay attention to, especially if you're fighting like a Lily player, because Lily players love that side game. That was sidestepping. Wait, that was Tekken 301. Offensive sidestepping. Hope you enjoyed that. Please leave a like and a comment. Eh. Alright, I'm doing one more match, bro. I'm tired of this game. I do any more than just one match, I know at some point I'm going to end up deleting this game. At least I don't plug. I don't plug no more. Mm, sorry for the notification noise. What is this? Let me just pause real quick. Okay. Oh, shit, might even end... <laughs> Might even end it now, considering the fact that it takes forever just to match me up with one person. Alright, I'll fix the problems that were happening with the OBS. Uh, not OBS. Stream Labs. I'll try fix those problems, and then we'll try Twitch again tomorrow. So I'll end the live stream there. Uh, take care of yourself, be ever wonderful, and I'll see you all on Twitch. Peace, y'all.